The way I play the cards I'm dealt, huh? You like how I came up and stayed myself, huh? All that shit I said on my tapes, nigga felt, huh? Gotta can't lose it, gotta turn it into Damn. wealth, huh? How's it going? It's your boy Mike and Joe back with another back with another vid for you on this uh, fine uh, Monday. Happy work week to everybody that's at work. Um, everybody that's that's trying to get on their shit. I understand. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't stop. Just because you fail, don't let them feet stop moving. Keep them feet moving even though somebody's trying to push your uh, your upper torso back. Let them feet drive you. If you don't know, if you if your torso is way in the back, then let your feet carry you to your torso and catch up. You feel me? But don't give up. Um, like I said, how are you doing today? Um, I hope you're doing very well. Um, so with this bit, I was going to do like a smoke sesh. But then I also, um, of course, you know, I give you like a little motivational speech, the quote before the video. And then I, I might kind of give you a little story time as this video progresses on. Um, you know, nothing crucial. I gotta get more bud. I like getting more bud because I get to try different flavors. So, <laughs> I didn't buy much. Just, like almost at like the end of like a little um, eight that I bought, 3.5 grams. Um, just because I didn't buy an ounce, it was uh, taking care of, of bills and business, you know. Must must tend to the little shit before you can get to the big shit. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I told you. I'm very meticulous. I just don't like a dirty, uh, don't like a dirty table. But yeah, so we got another weed review because I had bought a quarter of the Superman, seven grams, and then I finished that. Um, so now I have Pineapple Express. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's do another weed review, smoke sesh, motivational speech, and kind of a mini story time all in this vid. So first is first, you know what we do. all of my story time yet I'm still going through various different topics in my mind kind of what to choose a um, little bit of filler <laughs> I was listening to um, the new uh, boss by Dreamville listening to because you know he's releasing a couple songs I think it's every Friday every week until it's completely released and I like it I love boss he's my favorite one um, then it would probably be like Earth Gang, Ben, Jid. I mean, I'm, I like Cole, but I'm not. I like, I'm a Kendrick fan. We're from the West. Even though I live in Texas, from the West. So, I, <laughs> I preferably, <coughs> we're going to stay with Kendrick. But Ab Soul is my favorite. I'll take Ab over, over Kendrick or J. Cole or even Lupe. <coughs> But I might take Isaiah over all of them. So it all depends. Like, Isaiah, Isaiah and Ab are probably, like, my top three right now. Uh, even though they hadn't released any new music, I still love them. But my my top four that I listen to is Currency, um, Ab, Isaiah, um, you could say Fendi, Fendi P. Um, you could say Aaron May. Um think who else do I listen to who do you listen to what are your top four um, in your rotation right now what are your t what are your favorite songs out right now let me know like I said in the comment section what are you into you know um, I'm thinking about changing my intro again I'm debating let me know if I should if it's a good idea or if you like my intro the way it is um, but yeah I was thinking about just changing you know changing up like I said I'm just trying to get better you know, I just want to gain, you know, get more into bigger and bigger and gain more people to the channel and, and everything like that. Uh, I'm not going to call this really a, uh, I can't call this a late night because it's still dark, but we, we definitely can call this a, um, I'll call this a sunset smoke set. Uh, 
know we have like different variations all in my series. We have the wake and bakes, we have the late nights, you have the regular smoke sesh, and then I might add the sunset sesh. Hold on, excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I may add a uh, sunset sesh if I can kind of get to it. We'll see how this goes. Um, of course, I'm going to do my motivational speeches, product reviews, story times, and so. Take another moment for yourself. Amazing. You're amazing. Don't let others define who you are as a person. Little short motivational speech of this. Don't let others define who you are as a person. Don't don't let others uh, bring you down. Because um, too many people will let others bring them down when they're on the come up. You see what I'm saying? And it be your own family that wants to bring you down. It be your own family that is trying to hinder your progress because they don't want you to leave them. They don't want to be left behind. You know what I mean? It's like you have to get to where you have to get to. You know what I mean? You got to reach the top. You can't lend a hand if you're not even there. You, you're just on the up and coming. You're just on the, you know what I mean? Your chart is, is shooting straight up for the, for the ceiling. You ain't declining. You, you're going straight up. And people want to stop and hinder you. Don't allow that to happen. Drop who you have to, no matter who it is, no matter the circumstance, I don't care. Don't ever let them stop your progress. Don't ever let them hinder you from, from reaching your potential or going to where you're trying to go to. Point blank period in the discussion. Snip that shit in the bud, tell them to fuck off because it's grind season. It's grind time. Call me in the year 2025 when I'm on top. Don't call me now. Don't ask me for help now when you see that I'm struggling, you see that I'm trying to get better, you feel me? Like, take notes, ask questions, ask advice, but most importantly, you got to give effort yourself. I can't give the effort for you. So don't hinder what I'm trying to do if you can't give me as much effort as I'm willing to put Like I said, y'all are doing freaking amazing today. I gotta load a little bit more before I say take another hit. But your day's been good, your day's been good. Like I said, you look well, even though I can't see you. You look well. Is that new? Did you do something new with your hair? New cologne? Oh no, you, that's that weed, that's that good weed. <laughs> take another moment for yourself, because you deserve it. Man, it's lovely on this beautiful sunset smoke sesh. Um, also, on this Pineapple Express weed review, I mean, I've had this plenty of times, but it's more so anything or any buds that I get, I do. I'm just going to pop out a weed review. It's an instant video. Some people may have never had it and want to review over it. And, you want to know if it's good. Me personally, it's worth giving sativa, but has qualities of indica to be able to knock you out. Very good with stress, pain, um, in my opinion, fatigue, lack of appetite, and in parts, some insomnia. So, very, very good. Very, very good bud for sativa lovers that um, sometimes like the effect, you know, um, of an indica, even though it's going to be, you know, in your head first, and then it kind of moves down, you know, in your body and relaxes you overall with a nice uh, body buzz, but it's able to relax you, you know what I mean, instead of like, you know, it gives you energy and everything, it's still able to relax you and leave you, um, very calm, very relaxed, and um, after a long Monday, and after a long work week and at the beginning of a work week you need something to relieve your mind relieve your body um, <clears throat> you need something that is great because we don't smoke bad 
<laughs> As we don't smoke bad at all. We're smoking bad, but it's just that's that's unacceptable. And you shouldn't allow yourself to, to accept anything below average or below quality. Hold yourself to a higher standard is all I ever ask. Well, mm, mm. I need to get my hair done. I think I was gonna wait like another month. In all honesty, I was probably gonna wait like another month, uh, another like, yeah, I said another month, and then I'll go ahead and get it retwisted, but let the new grow. I just kind of let it do its thing, man. Like, don't get me wrong, I put stuff on it, but I mean, for me, like, I don't care about if you think I look good or if I'm ugly, if I'm fine, if I'm fuckable, if I'm, you know what I mean, not your type, or if I am your type. I love me, you know what I mean? And I accept me for who I am, flaws included. I know my improve, what I need to improve on, and that's what I'm working towards versus me trying to focus my energy on somebody that could leave me by the time I wake up in the morning or by the time I get off work. Don't got time for it. But hey, you like what you like. Um, who rob you're in a relationship, that's beautiful. All my single people understand me. <laughs> And if you're single and you don't, that's because you want a relationship. I genuinely want to be single the rest of my life. But hey, I hate when kind of like all of my OGs say, oh, that could change, you know, your perspective. No, I've been single almost five years. So I've been enjoying this. It's been lovely. I've been able to progress. I've been able to start my YouTube channel and crank out. Um, 60, like 65, 64 videos, so it's, I love it, I was able to keep my, my focus intact, and I'm able to really stay true to my core, and, what, and my values, and what I'm trying to do and accomplish, you know, this this little stuff, I may do the, the story time in another video, sight, I think I, I guess I'll go ahead and give you a little mini story time, um, First time I ever had to um, run, physically run from the cops. Uh, I know I did the last video about me getting pulled over 21 times, um, but that was like through a periodic of 18, I'm 25 to now. Um, I still have a lot of times in between. This one is when kind of like I was in middle school and this was like, I went to like a private school and when I moved, I told my mom I wanted to go to a public school. So this was my first public school setting and this was like, I wasn't fighting when uh, a nigga I was really cool with was fighting and we pretty much went to uh, watch him, you know, pretty much fight me and like a lot of our other friends. We were deep, they were pretty deep, could easily turn into a brawl, you know what I mean? But they, they got their ones in, the lady across the street saw it, didn't like it, ran over there while on the phone with the police. Um, said the police are on their way. And where I went to school at is pretty much like close to Dallas. They don't play. They showed up that. And imagine like 30, 35 kids, 40, dispersed quickly with like three cop cars. I'm talking about they flying, they trying to catch somebody, somebody getting pinned, you know what I mean, you got 40, you got pretty much 40 kids scattering, and it's like me and like a couple of my friends that lived on my side of town, which was like over the bridge, um, we kind of lived more, we more middle class, I'm not like super high up middle class, nice middle class. You know what I mean? Enough to where it's like I wasn't seeing niggas really that much over there. I was really like the only nigga or the only African American, excuse me. Um, I like to be political. Um, excuse me. Hey, got to cut that. You know it's not a video if you don't got to cut it. Um, but yeah, me and probably like four or five of my, uh, of my friends, not including me, so it's probably six of us including me, and we're hopping fences, and imagine we're like, uh, on foot, we're probably 40 minutes from the house, yeah, that's how far we went, like 40, 45 minutes on foot, 
and you're running from officers, and they're, they're and I'm pretty sure they're sending backup because of how many kids were here. And we're having to try to get out this neighborhood as quickly as possible. <laughs> Like quickly, quickly as possible. And we're hopping fences and we get pretty much like to my school and a little bit past my school. And um, I was able to, um, uh, I think one of my friends, was he, yeah, one of my friends was able to call his mom. Um, he was Mexican, so um, I, his mom just so happened to have a minivan that was able to fit all six of us in. And she came and picked us up at an elementary school a little bit, um, maybe like three blocks um, away from my school, but more in the direction towards where we lived. Um, and she was able to pick us up and we were able to get away. But five people, um, I don't know, um, two of my friends and three of theirs were got called. Uh, the people that were actually fighting did not get called. So kind of ironic. That's kind of like my little mini story time for you in the midst of this week review. So, like I said, you're doing good. I appreciate you being here and listening and fucking with me. So, take another hit before we depart because I don't want to make this video too long. You know? I just wanted to talk to my people and. I just wish you a happy work week and just make sure you're being safe and, and diligent and reaching everything that you want to reach. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you're new, like and subscribe. Um, come join the tribe. We would love to have you in every smoke sesh. Um, so, go ahead and come and be a part of this. So, until the next video, I'll see you later.